So you just got your new set of snap-in overdentures on dental implants. Wonderful! You're now able to eat all the foods you love that you may not have been able to eat with regular dentures. In this video, I'm going to talk about the common maintenance issues that you will encounter with your snap-in dentures and what needs to be done to make sure that your snap-in dentures last as long as possible. Hey dental fans, I'm Dr. Rich and I'm teaching you about dentistry and teeth so that you can have a very nice smile. At-home maintenance for snap and dentures is pretty simple. It consists of taking care of the denture and taking care of the dental implants in your mouth. The snap in denture itself can be clean like a regular denture. You can soak it in denture cleaner, then brush it off with a denture brush or regular toothbrush. But don't use any toothpaste on it since the toothpaste can scratch it. This will help remove some of the plaque and tartar that will build up on it in your mouth. One other part I recommend cleaning is the inside of the snap. The snap is made out of plastic and snaps onto your dental implant. Sometimes food or plaque can collect inside the snap and it won't snap in anymore. Just take a wooden pick toothpick. You want to use something soft to not damage the snap and run it around the inside edge of the snap. This will loosen up any food or plaque that's stuck there. Then you can rinse it off with water. One tip when cleaning your snap indenture is to spread out a small towel on your bathroom counter and clean it over the towel. That way, if you happen to drop the denture, it won't break when it lands on the towel. I've had numerous patients chip or crack their dentures by dropping them into the sink or onto the tile floor in their bathrooms. In your mouth, you want to brush around the dental implant posts that stick up through your gums. You will collect plaque and tartar on them, so it's important to keep them clean. Since the implant posts and the dental implants themselves are made out of metal, you won't get cavities, but you can get gum disease around dental implants. Gum disease around dental implants, called periimplantitis, can lead to the implants failing. So that pretty much covers what maintenance you can do at home. Now we'll talk about what parts can wear out on your snap indentures and how your dentist can address them. Some of these issues you'll notice at home, others you may not even realize are happening. It's a good idea to see your dentist every six months or at least every year so that they can check your implants and the fit of your snap and overdenture. Your dentist will also check your mouth for any signs of oral cancer. The first and most common issue is the plastic snaps not holding the denture securely. As I already mentioned, make sure there's no food or plaque stuck inside the snap and make sure the implant posts are clean. Posts have a tiny lip on them which the snap snaps onto so it doesn't take much for them not to snap in place. If that doesn't help then the next step is to have your dentist replace the snap with a new one of the same strength or a stronger one. Initially I'll use the weakest strength snaps and only switch to stronger snaps if it's needed. Since the snaps are made out of plastic they will wear and need to be replaced from time to time. To get the most life out of your snaps, don't bite your denture into place. Place it in your mouth and push straight down over where the snaps are with your fingers. Ask your dentist to show you how to do this. By pushing straight down on the snaps, they will engage the implant posts smoothly with less wear. Biting the denture into place can push down on the snaps unevenly or at an angle, which will cause them to wear out quicker. The second most common issue is your overdenture needs a reline. Just like with a regular denture, the parts of the jawbone without implants will continue to shrink over time. Check out my Why Do Dentures Get Looser Over Time video to learn why that happens. When the jawbone shrinks, the overdenture won't rest on your gums anymore. Instead, it will end up being supported by the implant posts. This is a problem because a snap indenture is designed to be supported by the implants. The implants are only used to hold the overdenture in, so when this happens, you will start wearing through the plastic snaps very quickly. Then you will also start to wear down the implant posts as well. When that happens, new snaps won't hold the denture in place anymore and you will need to have the posts replaced. Here are some implant posts that I had to replace for a patient because they were too worn down. It's easy to tell if they are worn down because the gold color is no longer visible on the post. Worst case scenario, you could even end up damaging the implant itself. If the implant breaks or cracks, it will need to be removed and a new implant placed. Relining the snap indenture involves adding more plastic to the underside of it. This can either be done in the office or it might need to be done at the dental lab. The snaps inside the denture will usually be reset in the denture after the reline so that they are in the proper position. Again, your gum should hold up the denture. The snaps just hold it in place. 
Other issues that may happen to your snap indenture are things like cracks or chips in the plastic, or even a tooth can break off. These things are usually simple fixes. Hopefully your snap indenture has a metal framework inside it for extra strength. The framework will help prevent large catastrophic cracks and breaks in the overdenture, but you can still have small pieces chip off the denture if you drop it. Small chips can be repaired easily by your dentist. Sometimes the repair can be done in the office, other times it will need to be sent back to the dental lab. Eventually the denture teeth will wear down to the point where they are almost smooth. Some patients will notice this, others won't. If you are having trouble, if you're having trouble chewing your food, talk to your dentist. At that point in time, it's probably a good idea to get a new snap indenture made. Make sure to keep your old snap indenture as a spare. So tell me, what issues have you had with your snap indentures? How were they solved? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.